hello students now we'll start the problems on job costing so previous video we have completed the theory of job costing what is job costing what are the features of job costing how to make the job cost sheet that we have discussed in the previous video so if you have not watched the theory video please go back to the video on theory of job costing get a good understanding on the topic then you come to the problem so now I'm going to start the problems on job costing. First, we'll solve some four short problems on job costing. Then we'll go to the main problems. But before starting the problem, I request my viewers to get a hard copy of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So go to the description. In the last line, you'll find the link there. Get a hard copy or print out of the problems and keep it ready before watching the video. Now I'm starting the problem. See the first problem first short problem from the following particulars prepare the cost sheet for job number 75 job number 75 you have to make the cost sheet and find out the value of the job material issued for the job this is the direct material 6000 productive wages direct wages 4600 direct expenses 500 so when you add up material labor and direct expenses you will get the prime cost uh, provide 60% on productive wages for works on cost. Provide 60% of direct wages on works on cost. Works on cost means factory audit. Already we have discussed much about this concept in the previous uh, unit and output costing. So you have to be familiar with the wording. Works on cost means factory overhead. It is given in the problem as 60% of wages. And 12.5% on works cost for office on cost. The office on cost means administration over it. So it is given administration over it should be charged at 12.5% of works cost. And profit to be realized on the selling price 15%. The profit to be added to the total cost is 15% on the selling price. We don't have the selling price. So we have to suppose. Now. Problems on job costing, short problems, cost sheet for job number 75, material 6000, productive wages 4600, direct expense 500. Add up 11,100 is the prime cost. These are given in the problem. Now, factory overhead. Factory overhead are works on cost. Dono ka matlab ek hi hai. Factory on cost or factory works on cost or factory overhead. The works on cost is 60% of direct wages. It is given in the problem. So, how much are the direct wages here? 4600 4600 into 60% you'll get 27560 2760 add up you'll get works cost 13860 is the work cost to this we add administration over it administration over it means office on cost the office on cost is given 12.5% of works cost how much works cost we got 13860 into 12.5% you get 1732 now add up Total cost 15,592. Total cost we got. Now profit is 15% on selling price. So selling price we don't have. Agar 15% on cost agar data, so we would have calculated 15% of 15,592. But it is given not on cost, it is given on selling price. So we have to suppose let the selling price be 100, the profit will be 15. Because profit is 15% of selling price. Suppose current selling price 100 rupees hai, the profit will become 15. And selling price minus profit will get total cost. So total cost is nothing but sales minus profit. So 100 minus 15, 85 rupees is the total cost. Now, when total cost is 85, profit is 15. How much is the actual total cost? 15,592 is the actual total cost. So when total cost is 15,592, how much is the profit? So 15,592 divided by 85 into 15, we we'll get 2,752. So 2,752 is the profit. Now take this 2,752 as the profit. Add up, we'll get selling price 18,344. Now we'll confirm whether we have done correctly or not. It is saying that profit is 15% on selling price. Now you calculate 15% of 18,344, you must get 2752. If you get 2752, that means our calculations are right. 
that's it so this is the first problem on job cost sheet short problems now see the second short problem what is the cost of a job consuming material 8000 material required is 8000 wages paid are wages for 200 labor hours at rupees 5 per hour in department a and 100 labor hours at rupees 4 per hour in department b that means work the work is being done in two departments department a department b in department a 200 hours were worked at rupees 5 at rupees uh, 5 per hour in a department a mein 200 ghante kaam hua ek ghante ko 5 rupees hai aur department b mein 100 hours worked and each hour 4 rupees so we calculate job cost sheet material 8000 given in the problem wages department a 200 hours into 5 rupees 1000 department b 100 hours into 4 rupees 400 total wages are 1400 so 8000 material 1400 wages it will come become 9400 as the prime cost to this we have to add the overheads so overheads how the overheads are given in the problem the overheads of the factory amounted to 15000 rupees for 7500 total working hours of all the departments so overheads are given 15000 rupees for how many hours 7500 hours in a pure factory mein 7500 hours worked hua aur uske upar direct overheads hua 15000 now in working note we will calculate what is the per hour overhead rate per hour ek ghante ko kitna overhead hai maloo karenge so total overheads of the factory 15000 given in the problem total number of hours worked 7500 7500 ghante kaam hua aur 15000 rupees Overhead. So overhead rate per hour. A ghante ko kitna pada? So 15,000 divided by 7,500. 2 rupees per hour is the overhead rate. A ghante ko 2 rupees charge karna. So total number of hours worked on this job. Ye job ke upar kitne ghante kaam hua hai? 200 hours were worked in department A. And 100 hours worked in department B. So total number of hours are 300. So total number of hours worked on the job is 300 hours. Ek ghanta ko carried hai? 2 rupees. So 300 hours ke kitne honge? Overheads to be charged to job is 300 hours into 2 rupees. 600 rupees is the overheads. Ye overhead 600. So 9400 plus 600, 10,000 rupees is the total cost of the job. So second problem we have completed. Now see the third problem. Print well limited. To cut two jobs during the first week of april 1992 the following details are available two jobs are there job number 101 and job number 102 we are given material supplied first of all material supplied to job number 101 2000 102 1400 then wages paid 900 600 direct expenses 100 dash material transferred from job number one to job number two to material supply karte hai stores se. First of all, materials were supplied from the stores to job number one and job number two. Later on, some materials are left unused in job number 101. So that unused materials in job number 101 is transferred to 102. So the department is going to minus kar and the department receive kar us mein add kar denge material. And material return to stores. Kuch material use nahi hua, to wo material ko wapas stores ko bheja denge. Find the cost of each job. We have to find out what is the cost of job number 101 and job number 102. So job cost sheet for April 1992. Job number 101 and job number 102. Material supplied from stores. So how much? 2400. Material transferred from 101 to 102. Some material is transferred from one job to another job. So, jo job se transfer ho ra, wa par minus kar denge, aur jo job mein receive kar rahe, us mein plus kar denge. So, 100 rupees worth of material is transferred from 101 to 102. So, in 101 job, we take minus 100, and in 102, we take plus 100. Minus 100, plus 100. So, 2000 minus 100, 1900. 1400 plus 100, 1500. Material return to stores. From job number 102, the unused material will be returned back to the stores. How much? 50. So minus 50. 
because this material is not consumed it is returned back to the stores so 1900 1500 minus 50 we'll get 1450 i'll put it minus here so that you can remember minus 50 so it will become 1450 this is the material consumed now wages paid is given 900 600 direct expense are given 100 and dash so total cost is 2900 and 2050 so 2900 is the total cost for job number 101 and 2050 is the total cost for job number 102 that's it this is the third problem now see the fourth problem prepare job cost sheet number 243 material 3000 wages 2000 material and wages combined together constitutes prime cost then factory overhead are 50 percent of wages paid Administrative overhead are 80% of factory on cost. Factory on cost means factory overhead. So administration overhead jo lenge, wo 80% of factory overhead. Lenge. And selling and distribution overhead 20% of factory cost. Factory cost means works cost. Now material 3000. Cost sheet for job number 243. Material 3000. Wages 2000 given. So prime cost will become 5000. No factory overhead it is given in the problem. Factory overhead is 50% of wages. It is given in the problem. 50% of wages. The so wages are 2000. 2000 into 50% 1000. Add up will get works cost. We can call it as works cost or we can call it as factory cost. Means same. Now administrative overhead are 80% of factory on cost. Remember factory on cost means factory overheads. How much are the factory overheads? 1000 so 80% of 1000 it comes to 800 so 6800 is the cost of production to cost of production we add selling and distribution over it 20% of factory cost factory cost means works cost so works cost 6000 so 20% of 6000 it comes to 1200 now take the total 6800 plus 1200 8000 is the total cost that's all this is the end of short problems, four short problems we have done. In the next video, we will start the main problems on this job costing. So, viewers, if you are satisfied with my lecture, please like my video, share it and subscribe my channel. See you again in the next video on the main problems on job costing.